well how to balance na plus h2o then NaOH plus H2 so that is sodium react with water and we get sodium hydroxide and hydrogen so look to balance this equation at first try to rewrite this water as H2OH because in the right hand side you see the presence of OH so you can easily write water as H2OH to make this equation balance easily so in the left hand side the number of sodium is one the number of hydrogen is one which that is hydroxide radical is one in the right hand side the number of sodium is one the number of hydroxide ion is one also the number of hydrogen is two so to balance this equation means we have to balance the number of sodium hydrogen and OH from the both side so sodium one one so sodium is already balanced hydroxide one one so hydroxide is already balanced but our hydrogen is not balanced here one here two so to balance hydrogen what can i do i can multiply here simply by two that gives us two if you multiply by something that something must come before that atom so here two will come before this atom this atom has come from here so place here two if you place here two the number of hydrogen is two the number of hydroxide is two so let us sense the number of hydroxide two so now uh, sodium is balanced hydrogen is balanced but hydroxide is not balanced here one here two so to balance hydroxide what can you do you can multiply here by two that gives us two the, if you uh, multiply by something that something must come before the uh, before that atom that is hydroxide ion hydroxide ion has come from here so place here two if you place here two the number of sodium will be two so let us change the number of uh, hydroxide here will be two so already we have done now balance sodium here one here two so to balance sodium multiply here by two that gives us two so if you multiply by something that something must come before the atom that is here so this is the balanced equation so thank you for viewing this video be well